Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout New Hello. Vegas Let's Play. This time with episode 16, I believe. We and won't go quietly. I just ran into the, the can count on fascinating bug where the autosave uh, won't let you load your old save, so you have to create a new game and let it autosave once and then reload your old game. Yeah, well... On the plus side, save wasn't corrupted. We still have our series. I have multiple saves. None of them would load. So, anyway, here we are. Uh, one more thing we to note. Well, two more things the to Legion note. Can count on that. The NCR can't shut up, so I guess we'll go outside. But, of the other two things to note, it is raining where I am. You may be able to hear that, so... I personally love it. I, uh figured I'd share it with y'all and we will probably not have an episode of Fallout New Vegas in the upcoming week as we will be focusing on another game for a week like we did a few weeks back. It won't really matter if you've come across this in a playlist but if you come across it live it might matter. Alrighty, all of that being said I will turn it over to Checkers the Courier. Well, Eddie, you know, Ranger Porn Stash in there was just a right friendly feller. Don't think there was any work to be had. Although, was there someone we had to go talk to up yonder? Ranger Ghost here? You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. Well... Depends on the work. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. All right. If I pass through there, I'll check it out. Better than nothing, but close to it. Well, Listen, you know. I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? You got it. So, uh, I'll be off then. Mind yourself on the plank going down. Well, that's right friendly of you to, to warn me about that as you send me off to investigate a burning town. Wouldn't want to get me a splinter or nothing. I bet she's friendlier than that. She seems like a nice ranger. But you know, folk they's gotta be harsh in this world, I suppose. Not me and Eddie, you know, we're right friendly. We're happy to share 9mm, 10mm, 20 gauge, we share. Alright, Eddie. Let's go share with the world. Eddie, I'm going to go into sneak mode, which means you could try and go into less staticky mode. What are we packing at the moment? Our nine. Just because probably a better way to start. Let's start with our Silence 22 just in case there's something we need to tend to along our way. Seriously, Eddie, you, you need, I know you're there. Oh, and one more thing. I keep being remembered of the fact that you can hold things. And look at that. You can. So let's... Oh, you know. Give you one of those. And how about a whole stack of them. And uh, that. 
I don't even know what this does yet. One of those. And that. You can carry the shovel too. And that'll do it for now, Eddie. Thank you kindly, and to those who remind me. You know, you take a bit of lead and a noggin, and sometimes just old memory don't work like she used to. That looks like a big old rad roach right there. Rad roach, I said. Not the roach, the scorpion. Of course, it could be a fender from here, but... Looks like a scorpion stinger to me. Tumbleweed. I love tumbleweeds. Well, Eddie, we've been detected. There's a whole lot of red out there somewhere. They don't seem powerfully concerned with us. them being powerfully concerned. Nicely handled there, Eddie. See, we took the concern right out of their daily routine. That's how generous we are. An ant egg. Well, it's not worth much and it weighs one whole unit. There is an airplane over there, Eddie. Let's go look at the airplane. Wait, wait, there's more things. There's one and there's one. Well, you know, they look like they're concerned too. Nicely done, Eddie. You know, the way they burn like that, just a cheery warm fire warms the soul. There is a whole lot of red out there. I don't know really why I'm so worried about going loud when Eddie's firing off like a old-timey concert. read about those things sound like a whole lot of fun all right let's as long as Eddie's gonna get to have fun we should see what we can do uh, let's see 17 16 12 but the most ammo for it so I guess nine it is. All right there, Eddie. I think we broke it. Rat scorpion poison glands. I'm sure they're useful for something. I'm sure we won't have any trouble finding more when we need it. Okay, there's something unique with that one. Eddie, you go deal with it. You're about the only one of us that's being effective. Alright, Eddie, I have an idea. Stay back a bit. No, that is not what I meant. That ought to do. No, I think I overshot. Oh boy, Eddie. Well, hi.
Okay. Work on our ranged marksmanship here. There's just a whole boatload of you fellers, huh? Hey, Eddie. Can you? Oh, wait, no, I still have some. I, I thought I forgot. I thought I gave him all the fun stuff. I need to get that just a little closer. To him, not me. Oh, why not? Oh, that's why. A little fuzzy on the whole, you know, dynamics of this stuff. Well, I guess we can come up and try and thump it. Well, we're not hurting it. He's not hurting us. I'm not sure how we're going to convince Eddie not to worry about it. Huh. Well, you know what, Eddie? No, no, no. Come, come here. Come here, boy. Here, boy. Um. Let's see. Why don't you not be aggressive? There you go. You just, you come with me. No, he's not paying attention. He has got no use for that right now. Well... You know I'm here. Let's see if we can find a spot that he might be. Maybe. No, well. Well, I guess I'll mosey along and when Eddie figures out what's going on, we'll, maybe we'll see him again. We'll pop this ammunition box for 16 556 five, rounds. Yeah. So, coming to look. What? Somebody's excited over there. I'm going to really wish I had Eddie, aren't I? All right, well. Hey, here comes maybe. He, he doesn't want to let it go. Did you see him? He was going backwards. Like one day, one day, Brad Scorpion... I will come back and I will be your nightmare. Right now I need to go follow follow my friend up here and be his. Now that wasn't very nice, Jackal Gang member. Guess you all haven't heard about Mojave Hospitality. Let me introduce you to the concept. I send you to the hospital when you are a pinhead. Oh, nicely done, Eddie. You disassembled him. And look, he left us a toy to play with. You know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe they were friendly. Oh, hello. Let's see here. Lockpick needs some work, that's for sure. And science. And guns. One point left. Looks like we kicked it into medicine the last time. 
Sure, I can buy that. Continue. Junk round. Survival is the mother of invention. Craft ammo at the reloading bench using alternate material scrap in tin cans. Hmm. Lux 6, repair 45. Light touch. Heavy armor just isn't your thing. You've learned to customize light armor for maximum benefit while wearing light armor. You gain a 5% critical hit chance and your enemies suffer a minus 25 critical hit chance. That's cool. Confirm bachelor. Dialogue and combat same sex. Friend of the night. Eyes adapt quickly to low light. Intense training. Single point into any of your specials. Yeah, that might be the one we go with. Lady Killer is basically confirmed bachelor for the opposite sex. Rapid reload. Ooh, I like that too. Retention. Magazine Swift Learner. Each rank gain an additional 10%. To total experience points. That's not too shabby either. Cannibal. Comprehension. Run and gun. It's not really something we need to worry about too much. Bloody mess. Fortune finder. Gunslinger. Oh, that's not something we have to worry about at all, really. Lead belly. Shotgun surgeon. Toughness. I think we're going to go with the intense training again, say done, and, hmm, just because it's not really one that's easy to raise, let's kick that luck up one more time. You know, we've had a, well you go there sunshine. Let's see, nine, 357 magnum rounds, seven cases, some jet, metal armor, weight 30, no, you know what, you keep that. What do we have over here? Jackal gang member, 10, 357 rounds, four cases, cowboy repeater, jet, and leave the rest. This gang member had a Jet, Merc Grunt Outfit, Melee and Guns. Heavy though. So you go ahead and keep that. Alright, Eddie. Now, wasn't there another one over here? I seem to remember. I should have put that point in intelligence probably, but... I really like the extra look. Maybe someone's el someone else is going after that legendary scorpion out there. Maybe folks just disappear in this desert. Uh, we're going to back away, Eddie. I think this place is haunted. Where did that other... Here we go. We were right there. 10 millimeter pistol, 10, 10 rounds, 3 ball caps, 5, 10 cases, and we will come in here and fix up this 10, and this cowboy repeater, which fires 357s, you say. That's interesting. I know we're doing the pistolier thing, but like I said, Every good pistolier does keep a rifle for them long range shots. Gotta have a little extra barrel length. Sometimes. Creepy bird, you best get on your way. Detected hidden. Something else might be around here, Eddie. Let's be careful. Ammunition box locked easy. Alright. Let's give it a whirl. There we go. Four frag grenades. That'll make up for what I threw at the ghost of scorpions past. A mine box. I like mines. 
Eddie, we got mines too. Well, this is a right friendly little place they had here. And since we've got more than one of these, well, it's not really that banged up yet. Don't we don't really need to go crazy just for a couple points. Let's sidle over here, take a quick look around. Well, there's their sleeping cardboard on their goose stains. You know, Eddie, I don't want to ask too many questions about how them goose stains got there. Healing powder, no thanks. I'm trying to cut back. Speaking of healing, how are you doing, Eddie? You were a little banged up. You look fine. Well, there's them big tall men over there. And somewhere there's the ghost of an army of men and scorpions fighting it out around an airplane. We're lucky to have escaped that paranormal situation there, Eddie. Hmm. You know what, Eddie? Let's fall back to the... Not, not to the goose-stained cardboard, but we'll fall back to the structure here. Time's about up, and I think... That might be Nipton over there, so we'll just kind of head over here. You know, I have a feeling I could fit through that space. Call me crazy. But we'll head over here, get behind just a bit of cover, and I'll turn it over to Checkers Prefect. Alrighty, folks. That was uh, an interesting adventure between scorpions and save games and a very determined eddy uh, just for a reminder like I said we probably will not have a Fallout New Vegas next week but we'll be back the week after that for the moment I would like to say thank you for watching I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative I would like to invite you to subscribe like and share if you so desire and to ask you, above all, to please take care.